Excel's PMT function is widely used in banking and mortgage circles. It allows us to calculate the monthly payment on a loan. Might be for a car, for a house, that sort of thing. Suppose you're in the market for a house, and here are some numbers you're looking at in terms of what you want to borrow. And you're looking at a variety of different interest rates, possibly. Or maybe you just want to set this up for long-term reference purposes. What we'd like to have in this particular worksheet is a quick way to calculate all these different answers here that we might get if we're borrowing those different amounts of money using those rates. In the upper left-hand corner of this, we're going to put in the PMT formula and temporarily use the two cells above these. Now, the fact that they match these numbers doesn't really have to be the case, but not a bad idea. Ultimately, they might not contain anything. We're about to use what's called a data table. So we'll put in the master formula here, equal PMT, left parenthesis. When you use the payment function, we first begin with a cell that's got a percent in it, and that's nearly always stated as a yearly amount. We want to divide it by 12 since most payment issues revolve around monthly payments, comma. Let's say that in our example here, all these are going to be using the 30-year, the 360-month option. So that's in cell A1. We'll just use that, comma. And the third argument within the PMT function is the amount that we're borrowing, and it's going to be B2. If we use this capability right now, if I were to press enter, our answer would be negative, and there's nothing really wrong with that. But let's say we want our results to be expressed as a positive number. So we'll put a minus in front of the B2 and press enter. And if you were attempting to borrow $200,000, pay it off over 3% interest for the next 30 years, that is your monthly payment, principal and interest included. Let's think of this as our master formula. We're going to highlight that cell and all these others here. And then on the data tab, go to what if analysis in the data tools group and use data table. Data table is going to use that master formula in cell B3. What is our row input cell? It's going to be B1. Just click it. What is our column input cell? It's going to be B2. And so I've color coded them to match up the data that we're trying to refer to here. We'll click OK. And we've got answers for all these. Now, you could have done this with other formulas, but it would have taken longer probably. And this certainly gets the job done fast. An add-on feature that you might want to consider here to bring out these numbers even better would be to select these and then a quick application from the Home tab by way of conditional formatting using color scales. Perhaps this one, there are some others here as well too. We'll just use this one. And that gives added weight to the results here. And we can clearly see now in this data table the amount that we're going to be paying back each month based on different amounts that we're borrowing and different interest rates by way of a data table.